Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. In the chapel, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119, 11. So just still trying to keep it together and people make me crazy sometimes. Make it easy to backslide, but I just, I'm finding myself more and more asking God to just settle my heart and <sighs> He does. He does. So, all right. In the totally hooked. I don't have my paper, so we're just going to fly by the seat of our pants today. Uh, I had a lot going on since I last spoke to you. Uh, I think the one that was uploaded was recorded on Tuesday and didn't go up till Thursday. Or it was recorded Thursday and didn't go up till Saturday. Um... Remember, I'm uploading these old-fashioned way, so, yeah, it takes a little bit longer, and then if something happens, it takes me longer to get them up, so we don't have Wi-Fi, we're just doing it on my hotspot on my phone, and it is what it is, so, uh, all right, let's start with Totally Hooked. I had, if you followed me the first of the year, I started out with a consignment crochet, um, the order is for four to six, um, headbands like ladies headbands and I have oops this one which is inside out but you get the drift sorry okay so I have this one and the one thing that I do is that they like is I make them thinner across the back of my neck because I didn't ever like them pushing my hair up and stuff I like them to stay this way it kind of cradles your head and yeah so there's that one ends are not woven in yet and then I have this one that the ends are not woven in yet and honestly the ends are just right here in the center I have two ends that's it I just use a solid piece and do it from end to end so there's that one and it's got some rustic looking in the back side so yeah there's that one then guilty me <laughs> so i started one and then decided i might need to keep that so this is the one that i started and um rg forgot the wool so i went out and just purchased some uh both of these are that love my crafts or love this love this yarn this is love this chunky okay and that's what's left of that one i probably have enough to do another one and then this one is uh i love this chunky and i probably have enough of it to do another one so we'll see this one i got to doing and i really like the way it's working up so and it's got some pops of purples and blues in there and this teal type green so I told RJ, I said, I might have to keep this one. And he goes, hmm, do I need to find you some more yarn? And I said, yeah, because the thing was is that he was going to bring me yarn from my stash that he thought would do good for these ladies because they want to look pretty while they do chores. <coughs> and so he forgot it the day that he worked on the truck. And I said, well, I'll just go pick some up. So I picked these up. And then I really like this one. I mean, I have enough, I think, to do another one. I don't even know how many yards it takes. I just do it. So I'm pretty sure this one, I have enough to do another one. The Chunkies, it might be close, but I don't know. So that one I might keep for myself, might do. But then RJ also brought me, so I actually have two going right now. I hadn't planned on it, but so I've got this one and this one for them. And then I'm using this and it's the old karen K karen c-a-r-m-o-n maybe karen. it was something that my grandma had given me and rj found it and he goes mom this would be cool for a head warmer so he's right i've got half of one done i'll have this one finished tonight um and again i just make it and i only do the decrease um the back side I keep straight and then the decrease only affects this side which makes it 
fit really good. I, I don't know why it just does. Um, when I tried to decrease on both sides, it made it like a big bubble and I didn't like that. So this keeps it so that it lays pretty flat. And as you can see, there's the decreases going on right there. Um, this is the only yarn and I can see the decreases, but I don't think anybody else looking will be able to see there's the little decreases. Um, the others you can't see in it. So I have that one going on. I've got two. I need to have between four and six. Um, and then they'll be taken down there and they decide which ones they want and just they'll take what they want. The other two that I purchased though was another Love the Chunky and it's red because one of the young ladies that's getting some of these has that red poncho that I made, this real wool. This of course would be acrylic and this is her favorite color. Then I found some with a little shiny shine in it and this is Love This Yarn which it's just not a chunky, it's just a regular worsted weight. So, yeah, I have this one and this one, and I'm just going to make up a bunch of headbands. And I have till Sunday, I believe, to get them all done. So I'm going to try and make this one into one. And I normally can make at least one a night. So today's Tuesday. I'll have probably this one finished tonight. That'll give me three. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I could have up to four more done, um, which is fine. I just I only need three so uh, the other thing that I thought about and RJ sent me this and I think it'd be cute but I'm concerned whether this is acrylic or not I'm actually gonna have to do the burn test on it to tell acrylic from wool wool melts acrylic burns so you literally take the edge hold it into by a flame um, a light or a candle or whatever if it just melts away this is wool if it catches on fire and you got to blow it out and stuff, that's acrylic. Um, it's tried and true method of telling real wool from fake wool or from acrylic. So he found me this and I thought it would be cute. Then he sent me all of this, which I had from another project. And I really don't like working with these, but I thought this one has little bobbles in it. And this one is just the little hairs. And of course it's got glitz. So RJ thought they'd be cute, but they're too thin to make an ear warmer with. So I thought I would take this brown, if it's acrylic, and where's my end? Put this with it and crochet them like so. Then put a trim in the bobbles around it. I have no idea if this is going to work worth a crap, if it's going to look okay or not. I don't know if it's going to be too fuzzy. I don't know, but I'm going to try it, I think. If this is not real wool, if this is real wool, I will not try it. If this is fake wool, as I call it, acrylic, which is super soft, you wouldn't know. If this is acrylic, then I'll use it. If not, I won't because if it gets thrown in the washer and this shrinks and then this doesn't, it's just going to be a bobbled mess. Um, even though this would just felt and shrink, you give it to a youth, you give it to a little kid, find a little baby, you know, if it shrinks up, it shrinks up. You just find somebody with that size head and give it away. But this won't shrink. So then you'd have all this stuff sticking out of it everywhere. So I don't know that I want to try this. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I might just for giggles, you know, and see what it looks like. Um, I may just work up a little square and see what it looks like because it's going to look like that, you know. I don't know. I don't know if pink hair is something. I'll probably work a little spot and then ask RJ what he thinks um, before I finish this one. But if I do do it, I'm going to trim it out in this. So then they'll have all those pink fuzzies everywhere. Um, so those are the commissioned items that I've been working on. Like I said, some of them are 
off the hook. Um, the whole order is for four to six. Um, whatever they don't like, they'll send back. Whatever they like, they'll pay for. Um, but that's the way it is right now. And that's really what I've been working on. I am still spinning. Uh, I've been working on my domestic. Okay. I have one full bobbin and another bobbin started. So if you remember, I do two full bobbins and then I apply them off on the big bobbin and start all over. So yeah, I'm still working on this. It's working up lovely. I didn't move it up here just because in the last two days I have not worked on this at all. Three days. What is today? Tuesday? Two days. I haven't worked on this at all. So um, there is still spinning going on. Just not anything really you want to see. I just have switched bobbins. Um, I also have been working on this lovely thing. And it's coming along quite nicely. I only got like a row or so done. Not too much. Because again, I'm trying to get the consignment stuff done. And I am trying to get uh, the spinning done. So I did work on that. I do have a plan for this maybe. Um, so then I have been working on this one. This is going to sound really kind of weird. I had to rip out a little bit because I messed up. <laughs> this is why I don't do it in the dark. I have decided that I am going to do a couple of rows a night until this booger is done. I have to force myself first off. Second off, it's so small that I do make mistakes and have to rip out quite a bit. And this is why I have this. Um, yeah, I did like three rows and then realized I was on the wrong row. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not really funny, but if I don't laugh about it, I'll cry. Okay, because this one had like, it was down here and there's one there that forms a diamond and then there's three there that form the diamond and then there's five and then it goes down to three and then it goes down to one. Well, I had one and then five, three, five. So I had skipped this whole row right in there and I had to go back and put it in. And you can't just go back and put it in. You have to go back, rip out to go back to put it in. So yeah, this is, <laughs> it's not funny, but it is, but it is. Um, so yeah, I had to rip out, but I'm trying to do two or three rows a night. That's not so taxing on my eyes and eventually by the end of this year I will have it done whether it wants to be or not so and I just have this much left to go to I don't know if you can see because I just wrapped that around but probably half uh, I'm maybe halfway third of the way so and it is really pretty so when I get it done it's gonna be done um, but I am working on it and I thought doing a couple of rows a night is something that it'll just get it'll get there but it'll get there slowly so all right i think that's all i have in the spinning i haven't put anything in the die pots because i told you i'm i'm spinning those two pounds um i haven't reskinned the wool that i dyed i haven't there have been some other things going on um the first one is that today i went down and talked to the lady who runs a shop but it's a farmer's market it's a registered farmer's market but she has a shop in there and everybody comes in and sells their wares like right now she's got succulents she's got micro um herbs micro organ i don't know those little plants that you chop up and put in your salad microbes um micro greens i don't know what they are she's got succulents she's got homemade soaps in there um, which she makes. Uh, she's got meat when it's when she has it, when someone has some to sell. Uh, she's got a dairy, has got some milk and stuff in there. She's got a lady that puts goat's milk in there when it's in season. Um, 
everybody just comes together as a farmer's market. They have a bunch of homemade stuff, um, got pecans, they've got spices, they've got teas, they've got herbs, um, candles, jewelry, what else? Some crocheted things. Um, I might go down and just take you a tour of it. I went down there today. I went down last week and I talked to her, said think on it, see what we can do. She talked to me about her drop spindling woes. I went down today and I gave her a little package of wool um, that Jane and I had come up with, little samples so that she could try them. And she forgot a drop spindle. I said, that's okay. I came prepared. I had my teaching stuff with me and I pulled out one of the wooden wheel ones, one of the little, showed her how to make, she says, oh, that's exactly like mine. And I said, well, you need to put a notch in it. And she said, really? I said, yeah. And so I showed her husband and he says, what's that for? And I says, a guide so that she has the same. He says, oh, I can do that. He says, I got a table saw. It'll be done in two seconds. And I said, make sure you sand it. I said, sand it good. He said, okay. So um, we played around for about an hour in fiber. And I talked to her. I showed her a couple of pieces that I've made. And I talked to her about acrylic. And then I wasn't against acrylic. It's what the customer wants. And so her and I are going to get together and play fiber and spin from time to time. Uh, if they do any open house downtown stuff, air stuff, I'm going to go down and do some demonstrations. And she says, in exchange, I can have a shelf to put, you know, a spun sample, a dyed sample, um, maybe a small sample, like a little mini shawl, which I think this one is going to be my sample because it's half done. I have no plan for it. Uh, I do acrylic and I took her some acrylic samples and I took her some um, raw wool samples. I took her some dyed wool samples. I took like three or four pieces that I had made, um, shawls and wraps. And you know, I didn't take her roommate's sweater. I should have, but she knows I do sweaters. But she, she says, we can just put it on a shelf. You can have a little sign up there, consignment um, spinning, consignment crochet, sheep to shawl, that kind of stuff. So now I've got to come up with a sign. I'm not going to go overboard. I'm going to use something else that I already have. This is a good sample of my work. It shows two or three si stitches. It shows how consistent it is. It's fine. And if somebody wants to buy this, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't have a plan with it. I like this yarn though. It's super easy to work with. It's kind of like that brown that I was thinking about putting in that uh, head wrap. It almost could fool the layman into thinking that it is real wool, but it's a lot cheaper. So um, it is what it is. And I'm just going to take it down there and say, hey, here it is. And you know, use, this is my sample, I think. Now, the thing is, is that I told her, I said, I have some others that I'm working on right now. I have to get my consignments done before I can do anything to get a little uh, shelf in her store ready. And she said, okay. She said, it's, it'll be fine. She goes, I've got more shelves on order and most of our shelves are spoken for or whatever. She goes, I'd have to make room for you. She goes, so if it's something that can be in a month or two and I said oh yes so this isn't going to come around fast her and I are going to try it she has a six month rule if nothing moves or there's no inquiries in that in six months I'll take it out I told her I said that's fine I said on the other hand if I get some consignment I pay you she said yes exactly I said okay no loss for her no loss for me I don't have to pay for the shelf as long as I'll do some little free lessons or spinning or whatever uh, demonstrations down there so that's good that's perfect for me you know and if it doesn't do because i told her i said some farmers market we would go to and we'd knock it out of the ballpark the next farmers market we might not do anything um we could go to a fiber festival the same way you know where people go looking for that and say either knock it out of the ballpark or nothing um, there just seems to not really be an in the middle for us I, I don't know why that's just always the way it's either a bomb or a, amazing 
So um, I will say this, that the ones that we've noticed that are amazing is where I demo it and give kids lessons and just do that kind of stuff. So this is what I am going to be doing is I'm going to give her lessons and do the demos for her shop and all that kind of stuff. And while we were standing there, there was a lady that came in. She's like, oh, I'm a crocheter and blah, or a knitter, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I knit, I crochet, and I also do Tunisian. And uh, I said, I also have a floor loom, and I weave, and I spin, and, you know, and she goes, so is this a spinner? And I said, that's a drop spindle. And I said, that's the easiest way to start, blah, blah, blah. So we already have one person of interest. And uh, the shop owner asked, she says, so if we do some classes, are you going to come? And the lady says, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, but we'll figure it out. We don't know where it's going to go or if it ever takes off. But she has an interest so even if her and I just share an interest together, that's a good thing. That's, you know, that is what it is. So, um, the other thing that happened is RJ had a little complication. He's been tight this summer and he's, or this summer, this winter, he's trying to do, he's been putting on some ropings. Very proud of him for that. But carrying the feed bill in between those ropings is getting a little bit hard feeds going up, cost of the ropings, and that isn't, you know, um, so he's been taking in horses and training them. Well, it turns out he ended up with a stolen horse. Not by his own fault, the young lady, I say young lady very loosely, um, has signed a full confession that it was her, she did it, she, you know, but, um, now RJ has to go through a victim's thing, and when it's all settled and done for him to get his money back, he's got training in the horse, he's got feed, hay, shelter, you know, the stall, the water, plus the training, plus the monthly, bit, you know, he had the feet trimmed, he took care of that horse better than those people were, and he took care of it just like it was one of his. Well, come to find out, she had stole the horse. So, the minute he found out, he called the sheriff's department. The sheriff's department only had a missing horse report. They didn't have a stolen horse report. And RJ had gotten word because the horse industry is pretty close, pretty tight-knit, you know. And uh, he says they had to do some investigating. They called RJ back. They said, we do have, you know, we do think that's it. They exchanged pictures blah 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 long story short he found out that it was possibly stolen he doesn't want a stolen horse on our property um he found out saturday night sheriff's department came and removed it sunday he says i want it done i want it gone now but now he just has to go through because he's considered a victim um because of his loss of money and it's about twelve hundred dollars that he's out so uh He's feeling the pinch right now. He's like, Mom, that, that money would have been my feed bill. That money would have been my grocery bill. So, um, yeah, I took pity on him. I didn't take pity on him. I plan. I, he just, he's my son, and I'll take care of him till the end. Um, I took groceries up there to him, made sure that he was fine. He has a roof over his head. Of course, it's paid. Um, he's got... Everything he needs, heat, water, electric, propane, you know, and now he's got food. He was definitely only eating one meal a day because he didn't think he could afford much more. I took up extras and and got him on the right track and he told me, he said, he told me yesterday, he says, it's great that I can take a break, go in the house and actually get something to eat as opposed to just go in, drink some water to settle my stomach, kick some rocks around, and then go back out to work. And he said, with a full tummy, he says, I seem to be able to get more done. <laughs> and so he's um, still, he had to build fence. He's got a cow that's been getting out, calf. And so he's been, he's fixed, I don't know what he said, 400 and some feet or 500 feet, 470 some, I don't know. 
he built that and it's five strand so not only are you putting all the posts in then you got to go five times five strand <laughs> so he's been doing that he said he woke up today he was just he's really getting discouraged um, and we've had tough times before he just didn't really know it because mom was there to soften the blow and to keep things going and he's a little stressed but it's gonna be okay and he's gonna be okay uh, it's one of those deals where you just don't know people you know you think you know people but you don't there are people that'll do stuff out there that will shock you every day and even though he thinks he knows them he found out that is not something he thought they'd do but they did he's caught in the middle he immediately did the right thing he's been in contact with the DA uh, Vic, he has to do a victim statement or whatever or submit a bill and all this stuff and so he's doing that and then we'll go from there so uh, not a good thing just not a good thing but it irritates me that's why I'm saying I'm trying to keep Jesus in my heart let him settle my heart honestly I want to take this little girl I know she's they say she's too big for it I don't know she needs to be put over somebody's knee and her butt busted because you don't steal period okay let alone involve somebody else in your caper that doesn't know what's going on anyway off of that off of that soapbox y'all know how I feel y'all know how I raised RJ and if he needed his butt busted he got it you show respect you respect other people's property you respect other people's time uh, if you're gonna do something stupid you better ask yourself at what cost just saying so anyway my hair is irritating me it kind of my cowlick is puffy today and I don't know why <laughs> see that yeah it's my cowlick it's puffy so anyway I did took care of that RJ's feeling better about things um he says things are looking up you know they always things always look better when you can have a full belly get you a good night's sleep take a deep breath get up in the morning and go okay I got this so that's where he's at he's got this he's cold um but and he's coming down Sunday all of his parts are coming in so we'll get that truck up and running that will take another thing off of his plate um then I'm just cleaning house today uh, I'm gonna work on some of this stuff down here other than that I've just been at work and here trying to do to, today was my big go and talk to her about the spinning maybe help her teach she's got a love of fiber let's nourish that let's just keep it going um but yeah I think that's about it today I've got a uh, fire going it's it's been nice the last two days oh I did unloaded two loads oh my gosh my shoulders across here burnt so bad <laughs> roommate got a chance to get some wood well roommate owns a wood splitter so we got the wood took the old work truck and roommates truck loaded them down with all this free wood got back here and I unloaded it all <laughs> okay take that back I unloaded the first truckload roommate went back to get another truckload that's why you know it was here we went and got it got the first truckload and they're like oh you want more he's like oh I'll come back with another truck okay so I unloaded the one truck that was here while roommate went to go get another truckload full um then the other truck got here and I just tuckered out <laughs> we unloaded about half of it looked at each other and said it's a nice day but we're done so we came in had some dinner crocheted my shoulders were burning this stuff was not little this still needs to be split they're probably this long that big around which the log splitter can do it roommate has a large log splitter so this split it a couple of times we're good yeah that stuff unloading it from that truck made my shoulders like I said right across here and right here this right here oh my gosh it was burning <laughs> I didn't need a workout that day 
but I got a truck and a half unloaded, a truck load and a half of a truck load unloaded. And then the other one's just sitting out there and the old work truck still has about half a load on it. I'll get to it, but it got cold today and I'm not doing it today. If it warms back up by Thursday, I'll get the rest of it unloaded and then I'll drag out the wood splitter and start splitting it. But until then, not going to happen. So um, I'm just, I got a fire going now. It's kind of nippy in here, but I keep the thermostat at 68 when I'm by myself because it's fine. But yeah, I'm going to do all that stuff when it warms up. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully in the next couple of days I can get it all done Ooh. because then another cold snap is supposed to hit so we've been doing like two or three days of 40 50 60s and then cold snap 40 50 60s cold snap um, yesterday it was 57 degrees out woke up this morning and it was in the teens and barely gonna hit 30 something today it's cold so, all right, I'm going to get off here, finish what I'm doing, just cleaning up the house every day. You know, I've got RJ's parts in about, I think we've got four or five boxes of parts, and I'm going to combine them into one because I have a pile, uh, and it's just taking up too much space. And then, like I said, I'll update you guys on the progress of this stuff, and um, I probably will just snap pictures of each one of the headband so that you guys can see them complete because they leave here on Sunday so it is what it is all right I will catch y'all on the flip side keep watching bless you all that's all I can say and thank you all for being such good-hearted people and doing right you know not doing wrong <laughs> just doing the right thing talk to you next week bye